So my task today is to uh, uh, deliver some uh, information about new antiretroviral therapy for pediatric and adolescent HIV. And uh, this uh, is a bit, you know, like falling adult trend, but um, we are going to focus on what would be available for children and adolescents. And this could be new drugs and could be new strategies. So what are the trends? So uh, I'm going to talk about the three scenarios. The newly infected uh, patients, I mean the, the, the naive patients, the ones that's failing, and finally the treatment simplification uh, in someone who are virologically suppressed. So uh, let me start with the new young boy, 16 year old, and this is the real case. And um, he uh, obviously an MSM, and uh, just newly diagnosed by one of our outreach programs where uh, we just went on and provide education and uh, provide VCT and um, if they are negative, we are going to provide them PrEP uh, and PrEP education. And uh, unfortunately, he was found to be HIV positive. Um, he's actually a very busy boy, uh, have a lot of school activities and have a lot of hobbies and he's, you know, not have much time. He was shocked with the diagnosis, but he kind of uh, know quite well about HIV. But what would be the best option for uh, HIV naive adolescent like this? So I'd like you to help me what? I give you four choices, uh, A, B, C, and D, okay? And uh, in my talk, I'm going to use a lot of trade names because it's easier for me, okay? Uh, and uh, you have to put up with my uh, trade name things, okay? Um, a is Tivia, B is Complila, 3 is Triumic, and Genvoya. Please word, please. So let's see what you like. Money is not the barrier, okay, in this room. Okay, <laughs> pretending that the boy is so rich, he can reach out for any drugs he wants, okay? But I only give you four choices. All right, so uh, majority uh, choosing Tivia. I'm telling you, the money is not the problem, okay? He's well to do, okay? <laughs> um, okay, and quite a few choose Triumic, okay? Oops, sorry. Ah, okay. So I don't have an, uh, you know, the right answer for you, but you have to decide by yourself. But I'm giving you the information that you have to decide, okay? The first information I want to give you is the uh, number of dose, you know, a proportion of the doses that you need to take in order to achieve viral suppression. In general, is about, uh, 80 something percent, I cannot read the number here, it's too small, more than 80 percent. But for integrase inhibitor regimen, it's about 75 percent. For uh, NNRTI's regimen, it's about almost 80 percent, 70 something. For protease inhibitors, you need like uh, 80 something percent, but for other regimens, you need 90 something percent. So integrase inhibitors is you know, the winner. And uh, with this, it means that this is a regimen that gives you more forgiveness. It means that you can forget some doses without penalty, okay? Um, and the second information, uh, and this is a slide everybody have seen before, and this is a slide about the genetic uh, barrier to resistance. And you can see that this, uh, uh, the um, x-axis uh, tell you number of mutations you would need to make the drug uh, ineffective, okay? And the y-axis uh, tell you the potency of that drug. And you can see the runavir is, uh, booster the runavir is probably the best in terms of potency and genetic barriers. Uh, and dolutecovir and bictecovir are very much the same potency, but uh, in a little bit lower genetic barrier, okay, uh, but very high as well. Uh, Lytecovir and rotecovir has good potency, but a lot lower genetic barrier for resistance, okay. Uh, and NRTI as well as repivirin uh, in a much, uh, much lower genetic barrier for resistance. And that's very, very important second information, okay? 
Um, and when we look at the potency or efficacy, uh, the potency translate to efficacy, and that answers well with a lot of uh, uh, clinical trials in adults, and as uh, you can see in the summary of uh, the studies in adults, uh, you can see that integrated strand inhibitors regimen, particularly dalrotecovir, uh, is better. What well, uh, they are better than many of the uh, protease inhibitors regimen, as well as efferens based regimen. So. All of the studies are in favor of integrase inhibitors. And the third information that you need is a single tablet regimen or a multi uh, tablet regimen. And this is the information that everybody knows. You don't have to tell me I love single tablet, everybody loves it. But this is one of the very few studies that have shown that single tablet regimen is really facilitate virologic suppression. And uh, this evidence is strong, uh, and that the retention rate with the single tablet regimen is much higher than multiple tablet regimen, as well as virologic suppression. So, uh, with the choice of single tablet regimen for the new drugs that will be available for children and adolescents, I put it in two classes. Uh, in an RTI, we have Tivia. This is not new. They are old. Uh, the second one is uh, Complila, which is not um, getting into the country, but it's available outside. Uh, Odefsi. Odefsi is very much like Complila, but it's just um, uh, using TAF instead of Tinafovir. Um, the Ravarine is quite good, but it's now only approved for adults. It's new, okay? It's new in an RTI. So uh, the second one is integrated strand inhibitor. The second group, uh, this is uh, Dolotecovir has been, you know, one of the most talk about drugs in this class. And LYTecovir, uh, sorry, doll takeaway, you have Triumec, and you have TLD. Uh, TLD just registered. It's going to be available in Thailand next month in a very low cost, so I'm very happy to hear that. Um, LY takeaway now is only Genvoya, uh, which is a very, uh, very attractive price. It's only about 2,500 baht per month, which, which, which is very good. And finally, Big Takeover. Big Takeover is now uh, available for 25 kilos up. So when you're talking about adolescents, 25 kilos up uh, is about, say, um, 10 years of age, you know, you can use this, okay? Uh, 10 or 12, okay? Uh, for protease inhibitors, uh, you know, uh, you are going to forget lopinavir and etasanovir. You will only think of darunavir, which is um, the, the, the current one, uh, which is a single tablet regimen, is Simtuza, which is only available for those adolescents who are big, like more than 40 kilos. Okay, so in short, the captain said the new trend is uh, for the newly infected adolescent children who are somewhat older, and this is a situation we found nowadays. We have very few new cases of newborns or infants. We have a large number of new cases naive in older children and adolescents. So the captain said it should be integrase inhibitors in single tablet regimen, and dolotecovir particularly has been prioritized because of the effectiveness, uh, very good CD4, uh, recovery, uh, also effective against HIV-2, has lower side effect, lower discontinuation rate, very effective against uh, those who are resistant to NNRTI and as well as rotecovir resistant. It has higher potency, higher forgiving, higher genetic barrier we talk about, lower drug-drug interaction, and it's also working very well in pregnant and nursing women. Of course, in Thailand, we are not allowed breastfeeding, but in other settings, uh, uh, it transfers well to the fetus and in the breast milk. It's once daily dosing and it's cheaper. 
Okay? And just recently, it was found that both dolutecovir in TAF formulation and in tenofovir, uh, simple tenofovir uh, formulation, both of them suppress the virus much quicker than the efferent-based regimen. The only problem, actually, I would say is a good thing, is that uh, it increased the weight, you know, more weight gain, particularly the arms that use uh, TAF uh, based uh, uh, with dolutecovir. But the increased weight gain, you know, I would say is the improved well-being of the patient, but uh, some people don't like to be shabby, okay? Uh, and get high, perhaps get high risk of cardiovascular diseases for elderly or older adult people. Dolutecovir in children, how about that? Uh, we have the study 1093, which many of us in here are joining the study and found that in children, 12 years or up uh, uh, has the vir virologic efficacy very good, 80 to, uh, uh, 83 percent for those young, uh, less than 400 copies. And for children 6 to 12 years of age, they also have the data that the uh, efficacy is about 80 percent, 78 percent. So um, these are not that as great, but because children are more difficult than adults, uh, but they have CD4 uh, again quite good. So in short, overall, I think it looks good. Uh, children is more difficult anyway compared to adults. And um, the only problem is that when it's a it, when this is an adolescent who is child-bearing age, you might need to tell them about the neurotube defect if they become pregnant while receiving dolutecovir, which we know that the risk increased from one in a thousand to three in a thousand. It doesn't mean it's contraindicated. It only means that you need to let them know the risk, okay? But the risk is greater than, uh, I mean, the benefit is greater than the risk. So you, you, you can go, out, go ahead and give uh, uh, the drug to shy bearing age women anyway, or, or adolescent anyway. So the bishop prioritized uh, dolutecovir, particularly the five milligram and ten milligrams. Very soon will be will be available in mid year of this year. Okay. They also prioritized. Um, uh, the Runavir, and in the near future, they were talking about uh, Doravirin, okay? So uh, it, the one thing that's excited to me is Dolotecovir 3TC and Abacovir in pediatric formulation STR, okay? Which will be avail available within this year as well, but I don't know whether it's coming to Thailand soon. Now, dolutecovir also has been uh, uh, developed in disposable tablet, which is very good. Uh, we use it already, and, and it's very nice. Children love it. Uh, parents love it. And uh, they found the very good um, uh, PK because the uh, formulation, the, the dispersible formulation, has 60 to 80 percent greater bioavailability and has been very well tolerated compared to the simple tablet. Okay, um, the. A little thing, a little caveat for the folks who are going to be using dolutecovir, which is us, in the very near future, you know. Uh, this will be the new trend. We, are, we have to be very familiar using dolutecovir in children and adolescents, but the dosing recommendation is totally screw up, you know. Uh, the EMA, at EMA, the European and the US, uh, recommend that from 15 to 40 kilos, you only use like 20, 25, 30 milligrams per day. But the BHO said, oh, you don't have to care about anything, just go ahead and use 50 milligrams. So, what, mean, what it means is that you can use anything, and whatever you use, you just pick the reference, okay? When you use 50 milligrams, you say, oh, I'm using according to the ratio. If you use 25, you just, oh, I'm choosing according to, the, uh, to, to USFDA, whatever you want to use, go ahead and use it, okay? <laughs> so this boy, okay, was put on Triumic, and he said the pill is so big. Uh, you know, Triumic is very good. Uh, Abacovir, we love it because we are uh, young people. We don't have cardiovascular disease. We love Abacovir. So uh, Triumic is Dolutecovir, Abacovir 3TC, but the pill is so big. What can we do? How can we offer? What can we offer? Please vote. You want to switch him to? Tivia or Comprila or Genvoya or Big Pauvi.
What, you are, what are you going to choose? You have money, okay? You're not poor. You're very rich, okay? But let me tell you, they, they are not that expensive at all. They are very competing in terms of price, okay? Um, okay, now we're starting to have some people move more toward Genvoya, Complila, and Victavi, okay? Okay, let's look at the size. Let's look at the size. Ah. Let's look at the size, okay? You have Triumex, which is the biggest in the size, okay? Triumex here, total of 1,700 milligrams in one pill, okay? It doesn't matter how much you try, it's still big because the, the matter is so big, you know, the, 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 the material is a lot, okay? But the smallest one is uh, uh, here is Genvoya in this scale, and even smaller than Genvoya is uh, Big Tech. Big, big take away, big tawi, okay? So, big tawi, the brown thing is very attractive to me, okay? Uh, next is genvoya, which is uh, the, 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 the green thing, okay? When you look at uh, big take away, uh, the big tawi, the ones that just have, uh, just fed us uh, for lunch today, uh, <laughs> you must remember that. <laughs> Uh, okay, it has a very good virologic suppression uh, uh, efficacy compared to dolutegravir. Um, it has very similar uh, side effects in terms of lipid, uh, BMD, and renal, except for triglyceride that big seems to be uh, induced higher uh, triglyceride level. And this is a study in adults. Uh, they conclude that uh, big tau, we have similar uh, viral efficacy uh, comparing to triumic, but it has better GI tolerance. And there's no need for HLA checkup because they don't have a bacuvia in the pill. And uh, it also can be used with the hepatitis B co-infection because it has TAF. So Bictavi has been used in children, okay? In adolescent and children, uh, 25 kilos and up. And the data up to 48 weeks uh, found very good. The snapshot virologic uh, suppression is great, CD4 is great, okay? Now, let's go to the second uh, small size, which is Genvoya. I like this one. Many of my patients have been using this, okay? Genvoya is uh, Avitecovir. It's not as good as Bictecovir or Dolutecovir in terms of genetic barriers. But I think the, for the naive people or someone who never fail, never have problem with resistance, the uh, efficacy is quite great. And uh, you can see that 90, 92% viral suppression, that's the efficacy. And the renal as well as uh, the, uh, the bone are uh, quite okay. okay. So what are the potential options uh, for new cares like this young man that I just read? There are another two options, which is not available right now, but it will be the trend that will be available to use in the near future. The first other option is Dolutecovir 3TC, the two-drug regimen, and the second one is uh, Darunavir Corbisistat FTC TAF, which is Simtosa. So I give you a quick thing about the two drug regimen DTG 3TC, okay? Uh, this is a study in adults that found that whatever you initiate either with uh, uh, two drugs regimen or three drugs regimen, you get the very similar outcome, okay? But the three drug regimen give you more side effects. What about Simtuza? Simtuza, which is uh, Darunavir, as, you, as I show you in the first scale, uh, that uh, Darunavir is high in terms of efficacy and genetic barrier. And of course, when it comes into one single pill, in a DAO study, they found that the um, observed and uh, intention to treat snapshot for virologic uh, efficacy is quite good. It's up to 96%. Okay, so, but, but these two drugs are not available for adolescents yet, okay, for adult, uh, for only for adults. Okay, so um, the trend is there, but we have to think about what the serious side effect right now which people are pointing at because uh, neuropsychiatric psychiatric problem is a very, very um, 
uh, highly interested nowadays. Uh, if you want to apply for grants, do for this, you know. <laughs> so uh, one in five of Americans living with HIV have severe anxiety. And uh, you know that people who are living with HIV and receiving, receiving um, uh, efferents in children yeah, who are receiving long-term efferents found that they have, uh, you know, un, uh, very, uh, have some, some effect on neuropsychiatric problems, okay? They feel uneasy more, and they have lower uh, attention problems. Uh, they, they have lower attention in school. So, so uh, people don't want to use efferents because of this. But what about dolutecovir? Would that uh, affect the, the neuropsychiatric, um, uh, anything at all, have any effect of that at all? In the first one or two or even three trials, they have no problem with that, uh, with a few, with may very mild. But after the uh, drug has been licensed and post-marketing surveillance, they found that they actually don't take, we have some neuro neuropsychiatic side effects, but it's not that many, around three to 5% around that, okay? But it is true. Okay, let me move on to the second case, uh, which is a second scenario. This is a young boy who, who has been receiving antiretroviral therapy for like six years and he's been born with it. Of course, the family is not that well and he's been failing and failing and he's been receiving nevilopine, uh, uh, I'm sorry, lopinavir, TDF, uh, FTC after failing um, uh, nevilopine-based therapy. Uh, and you can see the, all the red things in the resistance uh, geno uh, genotypes, okay? so. What can we offer for someone who are failing, uh, someone who is uh, requiring the second line regimen? So please vote. I give you either Triumec or Genvoya or Bictavi. So what do you like? You have a lot of money. Don't worry about accessibility. Whatever you want to choose, you will get it. OK. We have. Uh, Okay, most of us want to use Triumec and Big Tavi. Okay, actually the second line regimen should be the least difficult to take because people who need second line mean that they have difficulties with the first line, they have difficulties with taking the meds. So you need to facilitate them in, you know, helping them in taking the meds. The thing which the least pill, the smallest pill, the one daily, or even you know, in the future, one injection per month would be the best. Okay, so um, the integrase based inhibit, uh, the integrase inhibitors based regimen is probably the most uh, attractive. So this is the uh, uh, the the study in adult that showed that dolutecovir uh, versus ropinavir, dolutecovir is better in terms of second line regimen, someone who failed the first line, okay, and has a lot lower side effects, uh, uh, adverse events. So that's why the WHO recommendation go for dolotecovia regimen for the second line, you know, in adolescents and in children, except for the ones that start with dolotecovia and they fail, then they, you have to go for PI as uh, the second line regimen. Okay, I move quickly on the third scenario. This is a 12 year old girl who has been a good girl. She never fell, okay? But she's starting to complain, I don't want to take the drugs. But her virologic uh, suppression is still there. So uh, she is now has been uh, receiving GPO via Z250. And this is the real life. She has very good CD4 count. Uh, have viral load undetectable. She obviously said that I don't want to take twice daily regimen. Uh, I think I deserve something better. So what's your choice? Vote, please. So you want to use TLD, which is coming to Sapa Sasha, you know, universal coverage very soon. Or you want to use Genvoya or Bictavia or Chuluka. You like Chuluka? I like Chuluka. So you can see what's, in, what's inside here, OK? <laughs> I think it sounds like, uh, you know, the Bipo, uh, you know, the jelly. <laughs> okay, lots of people go for TLD. Uh, be careful, you have TDF and not TAF, okay? And uh, many of you love Juluga just like me, huh? Uh, okay, so sometimes you need switching. Someone who is so good, you know, viral suppressed, 
and you want to change them, switch them to something else because of the three reasons. One is for toxicity, you want to avoid it, or you already have toxicity, you have to shift. Or second is for uh, you know, easier life simplification. And third is the, for the cost and sustain availability. And the choice needs to be uh, considered of previous uh, uh, resistant pattern that the patient has before they come to this uh, point, okay? So um, the oral takeaway based regimen, you have three choices to, to choose. is either Triumic, which is TAF, uh, TLD, or DTG, uh, 3TC, which is, uh, I, I don't have the trade name now, um, or Repivalin plus NNRTI, this is not single tablet, or Juluca, Juluca, nah? or Gino, uh, 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 Genvoya or Bictavi, or even just simply change uh, TDF to TAV is already very good. Um, there's a study in UK and Ireland in real life uh, looking at dolitecovir in children and adolescents. Majority are the ones who are uh, uh, virologically suppressed and switched to dolitecovir, and they found very good virologic suppression uh, around 80 some 84 percent. And this is real world, so it's not as good as in under the clinical trials. But I think 80 something percent is good enough, and uh, they have very good CD4 count uh, gain. Um, what about the next one? When you look at uh, dolutecovir, you would think a little bit about another thing, which is also very good, which is bictacovir, bictacovir, uh, bictawi. Bictawi has very good, uh, 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 what is that, the PK levels compared to, uh, in children compared to adults. So um, the single tablet regimen for someone in uh, adolescents who are virologic suppressed can go for it. We don't have the data of Big Talvi right now in uh, naive, but uh, you know, for, for someone who are virologic suppressed, it's good. And uh, Genvoya is not bad at all. You know, in uh, tablet uh, formulation, of uh, adult tablet formulation, they, we found very good uh, PK, the, the PK parameters, much higher than adults. Uh, and all of those who are virologic suppressed who switch to Genvoya, which is the, 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 the pure size is only uh, a little bit bigger than, than Bictawi, uh, is quite uh, attractive and all of them has good viral suppression and tolerate very well, okay? And we have we proud to present this, uh, Dr. Vanat Priya under the Treat Asia sponsorship. Uh, we uh, 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 implemented the another program. We switched efferents to repivirin uh, for someone who are virologically suppressed, uh, adolescent, uh, 25 kilos and up, uh, 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 12 uh, years of age and up. Uh, and we found that all the virologic suppression is quite good throughout uh, 48 weeks of follow-up. And one good thing is you can see the, 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 blue, the blue bar here, the proportion of the blue bar here uh, increase over the time. The blue bar are the score that show the better, uh, 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 the better score of uh, executive and cognitive function after switching. So, uh, so after switching from efferents to repivirin, these adolescents do better in terms of neurocognitive, okay? And uh, what about Juluga? Juluga is quite good. Uh, it has good virologic success, particularly someone who need to simplify the regimen. It has high uh, treatment satisfaction with, with uh, you know, you, they can maintain the viral load throughout uh, uh, the week uh, 100, which is very good. So I think Juluga, Dolotecovia, Lipivirin is very good if uh, the price come down. And uh, what about two drugs, dolutecovir 3TC? Either dolutecovir repivirin uh, or dolutecovir 3TC. Uh, they have, they don't, we don't have the data of two drugs in adolescent, but it's coming soon. The data in adults is quite good, okay? What about exciting new drugs, okay? We proud to present the long-acting ones that uh, people talk about it this morning, and the results is quite good. We are going to start uh, uh, we are going to start uh, doing this the study in adults and very soon. And what do we have for infants? Nothing much except for rotecovir. So there'll be no space left for. Oops. I'll stand. I don't know. I keep talking. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I don't know where where we are. Okay, I, but but I have passed. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, uh, this is the slide that I show the choices. Okay, um, and this is the real life of uh, Dolutecovir in UK. Okay, uh, with 84 percent viral suppression, and this is the um, this is the Bictecovir PK data. So I go quickly, okay? And this is the uh, Genvoya PK data, okay? And this is the Rupivirin data. And this is the, um, uh, after switching from Efarins to Rupivirin, or, but you keep to an RTIs, okay? Uh, you improve the executive and cognitive function. Uh, you can see the increase of the blue bars, okay? And uh, this is the Dolotecovir Rupivirin Juluga which has very good virologic suppressed. And uh, this is Dolutecovir uh, 3TC, which is also very good. Both Juluga, both uh, Dolutecovir, either combined with uh, Repivirin or 3TC, both of them are good. Okay, uh, I'm sorry for, uh, you can go back to review the slide. <laughs> so what are the exciting new drugs? Uh, and this is the uh, long-acting intramuscular carbotecovir lipivirin, which uh, uh, give the very good viral suppression, maintain very well. But we are going to have uh, uh, a clinical trial in adolescent in Thailand very really soon, I hope. Okay, so this is the virologic suppressed uh, suppression throughout the time of the injection, and people love it. Um, what about the choice for infants? The infants, you don't have much to offer. Luckily, we don't have much of the new cases uh, in infants. So it's still Lotecovir. But the new innovation is that they're having dispersible tablets. Uh, Grandu is not that good. Uh, and they are going to have VRZ01. So, but unfortunately, we cannot uh, uh, join the study. But I think uh, VRZ01 will be too hard to reach. So we are looking forward to use just Lotecovir or uh, Lopinavir. Uh, Opinavir until you know they are able to use Dolutecovir. So, so in terms of uh, integrated strand inhibitors, you know anyone greater than 25 kilos, you go ahead and use whatever you want to use. You want to use Dolutecovir, you want to use uh, Elvitecovir, Genvoya, or you want to use Bictecovir. Either one of them fine. Over than 25 kilos, and Dolutecovir, you can even use it after you know anyone uh, uh, after, uh, above 15 kilos. So there'll be no space left for Lopinavir and Diazosanavir, except for uh, infants that may still need to use Lopinavir for a while. What about the new strategy? The new strategy, this is very exciting for me, uh, and uh, I just talked to Annette that perhaps we should do something, uh, the study like this, uh, alternative day, one day off, one day on, you know. Uh, and this is Tivia in, adolesc uh, in adults, and they found uh, very much uh, uh, good uh, efficacy, similar virologic failure. So a uh, very low, okay, so low virologic failure. So this is one of the strategy, which is very much, uh, uh, the same as another study called the Britha, and this one by the Penta group. Uh, but, uh, I, and this one is the weekend of five days on, two days off, and found very good efficacy. Uh, the patients continue to have good viral suppression, but I don't know how many people have been using it, because uh, although the study come out and published, but uh, not a lot of people in you know, the clinic have been using this strategy. But I think we should uh, you know, explore more. I would be uh, excited to see Ista, uh, Ista, uh, tr Isla Trovia, which is like um, uh, implanting very soon or once weekly dosing. So that would be very good for our adolescent. So thank you for your attention.